Hi, I'm Hannah. Welcome back to my channel, Mostly Paper Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to share 10 cards I created using the February My Monthly Hero Kit from Hero Arts. I'm really excited to share these with you. I'm glad that you're here, and I hope that you get some inspiration to create some cards using this kit or using supplies that you already own. Before I tear into it, here's a quick look at the kit. This is a stamp set. As you can see, there are tons of images and sentiments here. Here are the coordinating dies, which I'll need to cut apart, some washi tape, and some very interesting embossing powder they call sand. It has different colors and textures inside. I'm excited to give that a try. My first step is going to be stamp, color, and cut out my images. But I wanted to show you, the images from this kit almost completely fill my entire Misty. My first card uses a lot of those colored images. We've got the ukulele boy and the hula girl who, instead of dancing, is carrying two cocktails. The volcanoes are in the background, and I liked the way that the palm tree peeked out of this rounded rectangular window. I actually ended up using that same idea on another one of my cards. Next, continuing to use a couple more of those images. We have Your Turtley Awesome. And I did incorporate some elements from previous My Monthly Hero kits. Can you spot them? So we have the clouds from the December 20 kit. This sun is from the May kit from 2020. And this water dye down here is from April of 2019. So that was this Italian kit and this is the dye I'm talking about there. So we have two layers here, one of blue vellum and um, there's a blue glitter paper underneath that. For the third card, staying colorful and staying with the glitter, we have a shaker card with our toucan friend and some glitter. Now for this card, I actually used a wreath builder that I created myself. Now I've heard about wreath builders for a while, but I didn't really know what they were. So I finally looked it up online and with a traditional wreath builder design, you end up with eight corners to do your design. And I'm a geometry teacher, so naturally I was wondering can I do it with another angle? And of course you can. So 20 seconds later, I'm calculating angles and I used my scan and cut to create this so I didn't actually have to measure anything. The scan and cut makes it really easy to calculate um, the angles that you need. And so this is just three overlapping squares that are aligned so that they're perfectly centered and um, they're 120 degrees apart. So now I can do 12 or I can do six, which is what I really wanted. You'd have to have a very small image in order to fit 12 of them on the page. But that's what I used for um, this design here was this new wreath builder that I created. So you can see our hibiscus repeats six times there along with the other shapes. And so I took my design, I cut a circle, I cut a circle out of the center, colored just the center, created my shaker and added a few colored images right on top. I actually used this wreath builder for another card. So for my fourth card, I have just a little note to say mahalo. And this time I took my design and I rotated it 90 degrees. I colored it in with my metallic markers, which gives it a, a slightly shiny but muted look, and trimmed it down to fit on my A2 size card base. And then I added these fun, thin glitter strips. Now, I love using things from my stash, and this is something that's from my stash. And I was like, how old are these? It's Anita's Art Stamps. The date on here, is 2004. So yeah, they've been waiting a long time to make it onto this card, but I did both of these cards using my new wreath builder that I designed on my scan and cut. 
for my next card. This pretty orangish red paper is from this month's kit and I just did a little bit of ink blending on it. I used the dies for the palm tree and our hula girl and I did several layers of those. So there's two layers for each of the trees and four layers for the hula girl so she really stands out there white heat embossed sentiment and for this tree which is the reverse of this one i used my bone folder to go around the edge and smooth it out because when you do a die cut the back edge is usually pretty rough but if you go around it with your bone folder or another blunt object then you can get a smooth appearance Moving on to Aloha. So in this kit, we were given this really pretty washi tape. And I don't usually use washi tape on my cards, although I do have a bunch of it in my stash. And what I decided to do is create the background for this card with it. So I just lined it up in strips, put a frame. This paper here is from previous Hero Arts kits. The hibiscus flower, of course, is from this current kit. And then I went in and glued little gems to the centers of all the flowers. The alphabet dies are from Sizzix. I believe those came out um, last year. That was a lot of bright colored cards, so I decided to tone it down a notch. Next, we have Sending You Peaceful Thoughts. Here I used the sand embossing powder, and this was my first time using um, this textured embossing powder, but I remembered I also had a couple more in my stash sort of like this. So that's what I used for the water back here. It's a, another mixed media textured embossing powder. And I used that same water dye that I used on the Turtley Awesome card. So the water here is two layers. Uh, both of them are embossed with that textured embossing powder and then just layered on each other. This cloud is from the December kit and then I have my palm tree peeking out of the window again. But there's some foam tape here so this card has some nice dimension with the window and I think that this muted color palette seems a little more peaceful than some of the other cards I created this month. Here's another sending you peaceful thoughts. This one is water colored and it's actually on watercolor paper. I did go over my fish with my Wink of Stella pen. It's matted onto a piece of the included paper for this month's kit, and then I went back and heat embossed my sentiment here. I think that this card has a nice, peaceful color palette as well, nothing too overpowering, and I think it's kind of cute that there's just three little fish swimming together in the sea. I have two more cards for you. The next one is Sending You Oceans of Love. Now, for this card, I've got my turtle and the baby turtle from this kit, but you're gonna see another little turtle here. The fish, of course, were in this kit. There's also an octopus. So this was an add-on stamp set that I purchased over the summer to go with the July 2020 kit and this is where I got my oceans of love sentiment as well. This is the add-on which is full of adorable little images. So there's the turtle and the octopus is here as well and I considered using the seahorse but he's facing the wrong direction. But there's a bunch of other cute little things in this set as well. So sending you oceans of love. I learned a trick over the weekend for repeat stamping and just using your mat on the misty to um, keep your images perfectly lined up. I don't know why I never thought of that before, but I saw the trick and thought I definitely need to use that on a card. So sending you oceans of love. It is on white paper. The only one that's colored is the green turtle in the center. And um, over the top, we have a light blue vellum and then our sentiment is heat embossed. And for my last card, just a little note to say I stamped on the tiny little envelope. It's a little note and we have Aloha. So I've got my little tiki with a bunch of the other images that I'd colored at the beginning and hadn't used yet. And I think that this adorable little note will definitely make someone smile. 
one of my challenges to myself when I create my cards from my kits is to use any of the add-ons that I've purchased. And I did purchase the Hero Scape Waterfall layering stamp set that you see here. And my plan was to use it on at least one of my 10 cards, but I got a little carried away and I created seven instead. So I'm gonna put those in their own video, but I am gonna give you a quick peek at them now because these turned out, well, I think they turned out pretty darn good. So just a very quick peek at these. And you can see that I did incorporate other layering stamps from other um, previous kits. This one's my favorite. This is an easel card with the fun die from um, another kit. So like I said, I'm gonna show these in more detail in another video, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek. Here's another look at the 10 cards I created using this kit. If you'd like to see those waterfall cards in more detail, I'll be posting the video for that on my YouTube channel soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration for some cards that you can make. Thanks again for watching and until next time, go make something beautiful.